Hello everyone. I have a Thanksgiving message for you all. I did in a devotional booklet not too long ago the following words. Saying thank you is an antidote to any sense of entitlement. When I first started teaching at Harper College, a very good friend of mine, a professor of many years at Harper College, Louis Lazarus, took it upon himself to always advise me and share some of his teaching experiences and challenges with me. Now Lewis was in his 70s and he always lit up the faculty office with his jokes, some of the stories he told. He had a unique sense of humor. Lewis had health issues of course. He struggled with loneliness and he was very shy to ask for help. But whenever I offered to help him, he would graciously accept the help. He was always appreciative of any help offered to him. Lewis had warned me of entitled students at a particular co college where we both taught English composition. Here is how he supported his story about entitled students and what I could learn from it. One semester he told me he was sued by a student. I will spare you the many details, but the student and his parents promised to withdraw the lawsuit provided that Lewis changed their son's grade from a C to an A. The C was not warranted because the student believed that Lewis was prejudiced against him for being Greek, which the student argued resulted in Lewis giving him an undesirable grade. C. Now Lewis did not back down, and the rest, as they say, is history. No sooner had I started teaching than I encountered entitled students. Lewis was there to advise me on how I should respond to these students. Sadly, Lewis passed away two years ago during the height of the pandemic. One regret I have is that I promised to help him teach his classes while he attended to some health issues. But the pandemic ruined that plan. Thanksgiving is just a few days away and I'm sure that many of you have plans to spend it with your family. I want to say this. Do not wait until Thanksgiving before you express gratitude to someone, even anyone. I believe being gracious and thankful should be a lifestyle, a habit, a good attitude to have. Many years ago, I decided to purchase a package of thank you cards, which I would give to people if they did something genuinely nice for me, something authentic to help me. This was a check against feeling entitled or being ungracious. Of course, there are many a thousand ways to show gratitude. And giving people thank you cards is just one of the way you can do that. I want to say I've graduated from doing just giving people thank you cards. I think of a time earlier this year when I was carrying a packet of water and one of my neighbors helped me with the main entrance door at the condo where I stay, only to subsequently shout out the words, thank you. Of course, I felt embarrassed because I had not thanked her when she helped me with the door. And I had to thank her immediately for reminding me to say thank you. I could think of many other examples. An example was of my neighbor who, during the snowstorm, had helped this other neighbor clear snow from a parking space. Now, this very neighbor is also someone I'd helped at another time when it snowed heavily, I cleared the snow from her parking space. He looked at me the next day as if nothing happened, but said any thank you. Now, my other neighbor who had helped her during one snowstorm, she had told him the following. Since you're a guy and you are stronger, it is your responsibility to clear the snow. Ouch. I don't have to go into too much details to tell you how we responded to this neighbor's ingratitude. Now, anytime it snows, our parking space is like Mount Everest or like Mount Rushmore. And everybody else is as flat as paper. Now, I understand that this announcement is not about classwork, but I'm a living, breathing, walking, and active professor who believes there's more to life than just 
teaching English composition. I'm sure that many of you share this perspective. And note, I want to leave you with a message. Have a delightful Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.